Okay, so when you get your scar box, what comes in the box? Let's see. A box comes in the box. Another box comes in the box. Put the box inside, and then you have your marine amplifier. 800 watts RMS, 1500 watts peak, one channel, simple for it. Go buy one of these for your highs. It's only got low pass uh, uh, frequencies on it. Yep, just low pass with subsonic so you don't overextend your speaker with the low frequencies because you don't want your bass to be too low. Look at on the front, you have your RCA ends here, your gain, your, your uh, bass EQ boost, your low pass frequency, and your subsonic frequency. Then on the other side of your app, you have eight gauge, it accepts eight gauge wire, and four speaker plugs. Of course, we're gonna do this on wiring, but this is four to one ohm, and they say for the diagram, you use the last two for one ohm. So, one and four ohm, but I don't, I've always done it in the wires and only had two connectors, so that's weird. But that's what they give us. Comes with your uh, scar book, I was reading it, and uh, it's got a couple lines on how, how to use it. Has a uh, Allen wrench. Your base knob, so if you're Radio doesn't have a subwoofer for out. You can use this base knob and adjust it with the base knob. And your base knob wire. Was there screws in here, man? No, that's it. No screws. Now let's get it installed. First thing we're going to do is take out the front seat that has our caster under there. See previous video listed below on how to install that. And there is our SCAR subwoofer. It's got two 2 ohm voice goals in it, which will give us our 1 ohm mono load. Excuse the mess in the background. So here is our JL amplifier, six channel amp. We're gonna take two RCAs off that and use it for the other amplifier. And there is our capacitor. So the front will only have one RCA and all channels will be bridged together. It'll be fun. Before you do anything, make sure you disconnect your battery because that would lead to sparkage, which isn't fun. And this is why you don't touch capacitors. There we go. Capacitor discharge, we're going to take, we don't have a uh, distribution block, so we're just going to take and put another wire onto our cap. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off the wire. I'm going to use this razor to cut the housing. <clears throat> Twist it nicely. And shove this connector on the end of it. Let's see if I can crush this with uh, these pliers. If not, I'll have to use a hammer. Oh wow, I can. This isn't coming off. And I don't have any heat shrink, but we'll I can put that on later. But we do have some electric tape left. Pull that, it's not coming off. That worked out nicely. 
a little electric tape on it. We're going to do the same thing with the ground, except we don't need electric tape on it. And there, we're done. Now we'll plug this into the cap and get this plugged in the app and start doing some testing. Okay, so we're going to have to rewire the speaker as uh, one ohm, if I can get the speaker out. Okay, so we don't have a uh, large enough speaker wire, it's a 16 gauge. So we're going to run uh, just uh, two pair on each side. Okay, so using two wires is harder, but make sure you get both negatives in the negative, positives in the positive, or you'll cause some serious issues when you're plugging in your amp. And then push in there, make sure none of the wires come out, and check all the sides, and we're good to go. Now we're gonna reseal this, and uh, we're gonna, of course, have to put some silicone in these holes that I drilled, but it should be good. Okay. Wait, wait, this side, other side. Yeah, I gotta put it in one, okay. one side at a time. Uh, we're just using self-tapping screws to mount this. So basically just to hold it in place. And I got to bend the frame. That's good. And we'll put some on the other side. And it's mounted. And there's plenty of airflow under the seat where we're putting it. Okay. So we're wiring up. We got the ground and the positive. It's coming off the cap. We already wired that in. No sparkage. And this is our last speaker wire. We're gonna... Okay, and then we plug in the RCAs. Doesn't matter if it's right or left. It's a mono block. So we have this silicone right here, and it's underneath too, and I was pulling the wire through as I silicone the top. And now we're putting this, uh, basically this is just weather stripping. You can get a Home Depot for like your door or something. It's really, this really works great to get a good seal around that speaker. And uh, it also, as you saw, it will glue it, glue it in place. Because uh, it just has to stick a little bit. This is very old, but it comes in rolls like this. Okay, so our son's getting the speaker all bolted down. Now this is wired at one ohm load. And we have a lot of wire, so hopefully we get a lot of bass. Okay, so after our, speaker, our amp is all wired up and screwed down, it looks like this. So, yeah, we, we could probably trim up our speaker wire a bit and it would probably save us a little bit of power but looks pretty good all tucked under the seat and stuff and uh shouldn't be a problem there's our four gauge wire with the four gauge ground and then massive amount of speaker wires to make up for the gauge we don't have in speaker wire so going in and then it just wires into the front of the speaker and this is a custom box. This is tuned to, I'd say about 30 hertz. Now the ports go out the side. It seems to do really well on the Jeep. And, uh, there are, the ports are about oh, almost three foot long each. And there's two of them. On the front here, we have made this, uh, easily accessible to uh, adjust when your uh, seat's folded up, you can just reach under here. May have to move the amp back a little bit because these wires, I'm afraid, they're gonna kick them off with their feet. But we have the remote right now. It's not properly installed. It's just sitting in the cup holder. Have your RCAs. And now our gain, we didn't, our, our boost here, We did, this is off. Too much boost. We don't need any of that. Our gain's pretty much all the way up. We set our low frequency. This is probably set to about 90 hertz. And then we cranked up our subsonic filter up to, I'd say, uh, about a quarter of the way. 
and it seems to work great on our SVR 10 which rattles the house okay so yeah we did this this is my son in his Jeep we updated the sound system a little bit and now me and the wife are sitting in the house trying to work and this is what we hear and yeah this is just loud the whole house is shaking How loud do you have this, Brad? Uh, like at 30. The phone's on the way in? Yeah. Let me turn this down. It goes up to 50? Yeah. Okay, so we got this, uh, the amp installed. This is the SCAR 9, uh, 800 or 900? 800. 800. This is the SCAR 800 watt amp, making 1500 watts max, 800 watts RMS, and they say a dyno is a lot higher than that. Marine amp, so it'll work in this Jeep, and we have a SCAR 10 inch sub on this. Ported, of course, if you watched the full video, you saw that, so, but, and then we installed a cap on this. We have a previous video for that, link down below, and we're gonna be t testing this with, what's this song called? West Coast Vibe. This is off the filter1.com website, which you can see linked back down below. This is all uh, 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 royalty-free music. And that's somebody, Ash sent you a heart, Brandon. Oh, that's Ashley. No, okay. Here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna jam this. And she can get back to Ashley. Okay, that's too loud for me, and it's actually blowing air through here, but you can't see or hear what we hear here. Really loud. And uh, amp, you know, green amp, really good for the for the price. I'm like, this amp was not that expensive. So I'll leave a link down below for the amp. This is a SCAR amp, and uh, really impressed with the the uh, the features and the build quality. Now it does get really warm. That's why we left a lot of room in between the seat because we do have this at uh, one on mono load. So, but it handles that. That's the good thing. Y'all stay tuned. Okay. That's right. Usually 35, that's where the best face is at. <laughs> Look at me. I can't, I can't, I can't perform on me and watch. Okay, I got this. Okay, <laughs> alright.